Here we are, Star Fort National Historic Site. Mm -hmm. I, I like the landscaping of the place already. This is pretty. It's beautiful. And there's RV And there's parking. bus RV parking. <laughs> we like them. <laughs> They're so considerate. Yes. Yeah. Why is it called 96? Well, oh, there's the answer right there. <laughs> okay, I know the heading, live and learn. Yeah. I had no idea this place was this expansive. I didn't either. I, didn't really give that much information on the website. Yeah, the National Park Service site uh, website page devoted to this facility is not very ornate. I mean, it's, it really kind of makes it out to be where it, you, mm -hmm. you'd see the Ford and that's it. But as you can see here, Mm -hmm. You know, this this is the fort, but there is all this with significance as well. So. They even allow fishing in the pond. So, I don't think we'll get all this covered today. No. <laughs> but we'll do what we can. Mm -hmm. hey. Check out the visitor center. Hey. Hi. But they're all period artifacts. Uh, mannequins, I, I try to tell everybody the mannequins are too tall. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Average height back then. They're like me. Five, six <laughs> was the average height. Uh -huh. for the nice thing about brass, we couldn't hold down the average in that cost Right. So, but, this is one of our, some of our archaeologicals that did back in the 70s, 1970s. That's how they found really trench. <laughs> she never stops. <laughs> Okie dokie. Beautiful summer day, late summer day. Let's go see the fort itself. Let there be snakes. So we've learned that all of this, all well, all I guess the well, I guess all the land of this particular site was um, bought by local historical groups, and uh, over time they kind of amalgamated everything into one track and then um, donated it to the National Park Service. This is local grassroots efforts, long-term results. And some of the displays that they have here explain how even though much of this land over time was cleared and was farmland for almost 100 years that as it is now is pretty much exactly as it was when the Cherokee were hunting game through here and the first settlers arrived so so this this site has kind of grown back into what it once was. Yeah. Fantastic, by yeah, way. yeah. <laughs> Kudos to him, uh, Richard. His name, last name escapes me. His first name, but yeah. Look him up if you ever come by. He knows everything. Uh, explained to us that this entire field, at the time of the siege, the second battle of '96, the siege, 
uh, was actually a mile. I'm going to give you a 360 here. That this entire clearing was a mile wide that the loyalists had cleared all the trees for that far around to construct the fort. And so they could see that... Um they could see their enemy coming yeah. from a distance. So as you can see from what I just showed you, you know, a large mm -hmm. swath of those trees have grown back over the last 250 years. <laughs> and the opposing forces dug this trench out to approach the fort. Mm -hmm. Three weeks of digging in the red clay of this area. In, in June, in wool, <laughs> in red clay. While being shot at. While being shot at. <laughs> Good Lord. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Want to... Okay, so we. This is where you have to watch for snakes. Okay, <laughs> that too. So we are in. We're in the fort right now. Yeah. This is inside the fort. Inside the ramparts, you see the the earthen berms. They actually remain. And of course, they would have been a lot higher yeah. because all of this would have been a lot lower back then, but. Well, that and the, the sandbags on top. Mm -hmm. well, I guess it's filled in over time. So they dug for water, 25 feet, still didn't find any, so they gave up. But their water line was cut off by the Patriots. Laying siege. Yes. <laughs> Once again, natural treasures found close to home. Live and learn. Live and learn. <laughs> woman and child. Or as we would call it, very small woman and child. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. In comparison to my horizontally challenged, uh, excuse me, vertically challenged and vampire skinned wife, even she is a giant in comparison. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Someone you can actually look down to. <laughs> So. Why did the British burn 96? Because they were jackasses, that's why. You see, the birds even, think so even too. The, even the birds agree. <laughs> Poo on them. No offense to any fine citizens of the United Kingdom that may be subscribers to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Yes. And for those of you familiar with South Carolina geography, as we see that this is the what was the southeastern corner of the village of 96. So this is where the the village, the township of 96 originally was. I mean, of course, now, you know, all, all throughout here was where the township settlement of 96 was. Of course, now it's, I think it's a, it's that direction, about three miles is the modern town of 96. But this is where it was in relation, you know, there's the fort over there. I wonder if there was a hanging tree. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm almost sure there was one, but they they probably don't talk about it much around here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's you know that's a jail site. Okay. And I love how they have the posts to show where the buildings were. Scum. No. Mm. Uh, wrong war. Mm. <laughs> So that was 96 
National Historic Site. Historic Gull Site. No, it is Historic. National Historic Site. Say it right, Smoke. <laughs> 96 National Historic Site. Very, very interesting. Uh, any, if you have any interest in the Revolutionary War, American history in general, uh, really, really interesting. I'm, I'm glad we came. This, this was not my idea. This was a uh, teacher lady's idea, and I'm glad she had it. And it's a beautiful site. Everything is kept up really well. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. People are wonderful. Definitely two thumbs up. <laughs> and it's free 99, <clears throat> but, you know, donations are appreciated to keep up this beautiful location. We, we kicked in a couple of bucks. Okay. Nine. Six. <laughs> 96. Addendum. We wanted to show you Star Fort Pond. This is at the, I guess you call it the rear of the site because this is the opposite side of the what 900 plus acres of this site uh, from the from the entrance it's it's all the way over there and you can actually hike to this point through the site if you wish we did not when we were here yesterday uh, but we thought we'd drive over here today so you could get a look at it and see and even though it is technically closed to parking today um, we're going to trespass on federal property. You can actually still walk through here. I don't think we'll get shot. <laughs> but we'll show you the lovely pond that is open for fishing. We are not fisher people, so we're not familiar with all these regulations and restrictions and different kinds of bait that are not allowed and all that kind of jazz. We just know you go to Captain D's and order what you want, and <laughs> th th there's your fish. That's all we know. <laughs> and you can see off on the other side of the pond, the walking trails, those trails go back to the, the, for lack of a better word, the heart of the historic site. And we'll take you back to the site of the fort itself and the visitor center and the main entrance. Lovely place. Another reason to come check it out.